bodily fluids. Is there anything more precious? I don't think so. That's why conspiracy theorists the world round are terrified of things that may be in our drinking water. No, not dangerous levels of all-natural lead, which found its way into Flint, Michigan's drinking water thanks to an anti-corrosive that the government failed to add to the drinking water. Uh, No, these people are terrified of the things the government is adding to the water to make us healthier, namely fluoride. Fluoride is a naturally occurring compound that is found in water, fresh water, salt water, water falling from the sky uh, in various concentrations. And at the dawn of the 20th century, uh, a dentist named Frederick McKay moved to Colorado Springs and was shocked to find that everyone there had horrible brown stains on their teeth. After sciencing the heck out of it, uh, he learned two important things. First, that the town's water supply had an unusually high concentration of fluoride. And second, that the town's residents were much less likely to get cavities compared to the general population. It's a real would-you-rather situation. What if you never had to worry about a cavity again, but your teeth would be stained brown? Luckily, thanks to modern science, is that you don't have to choose. uh, Because after further research... Uh, scientists found that you could add a small amount of fluoride to the drinking water. Uh, This was around 1945 when the National Institutes of Health figured out the right dosage that wouldn't stain anyone's teeth, but did prevent cavities, dropping them by 60% over the course of 10 years in the tester city of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Which brings us to today, when a bunch of people freak out because they think, for some reason, fluoride causes cancer. It doesn't. There have been many, many studies done on this now from a number of different angles. Uh, Pumping animals full of fluoride doesn't seem to cause cancer directly, and cancer rates have not risen among the millions of people who have been subjected to fluoride in their drinking water throughout the past 70 years. It's perfectly safe, and it prevents cavities. It's a win-win. It doesn't even stain your teeth anymore. Despite that, we have cities like Windsor, Ontario, where in 2013, the city decided to stop fluoridating their water. The city council voted on this. Uh, It passed by a healthy margin um, due to completely unfounded health concerns. In the five years since then, the number of children with tooth decay or requiring urgent care increased by 51%. It doesn't take a scientific genius to see the very obvious correlation here, uh, and there was no other drastic change in dental health that would otherwise explain all of those rotten teeth, I assure you. Unless an actual sugar plum fairy came by and secretly poured sugar into the mouths of children as they slept. Ugh. That sounds gross, actually. I I really hope it wasn't that. Forget I even said that. It's weird. Uh, The town's idiot mayor, Drew Dilkins, uh, originally approved of fluoride to be removed from the water, and he didn't change his mind when the streets were paved with cavity-riddled teeth. Uh, He still doesn't want fluoride in the water, and he got two other councilmen on his side. Luckily, good sense prevailed, thanks to people like Joyce Zuck, executive director of Family Services Windsor-Essex, who was quoted as having said, I'm not trained in science. When we don't know the answer, we look to our experts to provide us with an answer. And in this case, our experts are the Windsor-Essex County Health Unit. Holy shit, can we make our politicians say something like that every morning when they go to work? Like, like a Pledge of Allegiance, but instead of it being towards a flag, it's a Pledge of Allegiance towards science? Please? It was just a perfect quote. The morons who still don't want fluoride argued that it's a matter of taking away personal consent, which is truly idiotic. Uh, first of all, people can still choose to use bottled water if they really want, although... Obviously, depending on where it comes from and what kind it is, uh, that might have fluoride in it, too, uh, natural or otherwise. Second of all, you don't need someone's consent to offer the public at large an unqualified good with literally no downsides. Like, if the government of Windsor uh, found an actual goose that lays golden eggs and they made a program where they promised every resident a golden egg every week, one guy doesn't get to object because he finds gold eggs gaudy, and then they just have the goose killed. That's not the way it works. I mean, 
if you don't consent to having a healthy mouth, you know, just do what I do and, and drink nothing but Coke Zero and wine. Not together. That's that's gross. Uh, I, I actually make up for it. You know, I occasionally supplement with tea because I'm getting sick right now. So it's like I'm trying as hard as I can to destroy my body. But despite my worst intentions, I'm not dying of a tooth infection because science and good government.